What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm continuing to chronicle One UI 5.0 changes for Samsung Galaxy phones, trying to make a video on all the stuff that's new. I made my overview video kind of introducing when I first installed it. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. It also talks about how you can install the beta yourself if you want to test One UI 5.0 beta on your Galaxy S22 device, and also where you can obtain the update as well. So all that'll be in the description. I also wanna remind you guys that Samsung Unpacked is coming up in just a few days. If you're not pre-ordering, you should still put your information in here to sign up for Samsung's emails. Just hit keep in touch. They usually send out some nice coupons. I got a 40% off accessory coupon when I signed up one time with the email. I didn't even buy anything. So I'll put the link down there if you guys wanna check it out. It's a great way to get some accessory deals for your current Galaxy smartphone. So let's talk about today. I've got the change log here. These are all the changes, by the way. Look at all these changes that are in One UI 5.0. So I'm going to have quite a few videos to make here the next few weeks, but that's fine. I enjoy doing it. Um, I'm going to be talking about the first two today. I'm not necessarily going to go in order, but I am going to talk about the most interesting changes first. And uh, in that case, today I'm going to talk about the color palette changes. There's been some updates and some additions. You can get more uh, color options. And then also stackable widgets, which is actually a feature that was introduced as smart widgets in One UI 4.1. And I'll actually show you what they've modified. I actually have my handy dandy, tiny little cute Galaxy S22, regular Galaxy S22 over here that we can use for comparison. It's still running One UI 4. So let's talk about the uh, color picker first. Uh, if you go to your home screen and you long press on it, you go to wallpaper and style as usual. Right down here, you go to color palette. And you can see they revamped the interface. First of all, it's got like a completely different UI. This is another example of where we can go in and do a quick little comparison using my Galaxy S22. You can see here, it's a completely different UI. You see the color palettes now up here. You can either turn color palette on or off, which is not something that you could do before. The color palette is also now themed with your current color. You can see that at the top, which is nice. And then some of the changes here, as you can see, you can see you've got the primary color right there that you currently have at the very top. And now you've also have more options. So here I've only got four pulled from my wallpaper. Here I have 12 and Samsung says you can actually get a total here of up to 16. So if you have a really dynamic wallpaper that has a ton of different colors, you get up to 16 options here in the dynamically themed color palette. Now the other thing that you can do, which I really like now on uh, One UI 5, is you can go to basic colors and now you have even more options where you can actually even pair a couple of different basic colors. In case you want something that's not taken directly from your wallpaper, maybe you want some colors that aren't related to your wallpaper. That's totally fine. And now you can do that over there. So you can switch between wallpaper colors and basic colors. You do notice though, there's a little bug here, which is not really uh, surprising. <laughs> you know, there's gonna be bugs in a beta. This is a, probably supposed to have white text so that you can actually see that this one says basic colors and wallpaper. Once you highlight it, you can't see the text. So there's gonna be some bugs. I mean, it's a beta, so you gotta expect that. But also the color palette now runs more deeply throughout the OS. If you go into the settings menu up here at the top, go to the settings cog, you'll notice that you've got your, see I've got dark red on how hard it is to tell. The tiles are themed with the color palette and also the settings at the very top, the word settings itself is also themed. If you look here in my Galaxy S22, you'll notice that's not the case. We've got completely black here in dark mode, not taken from my color palette. This one's got the nice red tint color that's taken from my color palette as mentioned. So that's the new update to the color picker. It's a nice update. It's one that people are gonna notice a lot because of course people love to update their wallpaper and play around with stuff. I love to do it too. The next one is perhaps an even more awesome feature. Now, let me show you what this was on the old version first. On Android 4.1, this is my S22, if you long press and go to widgets, there was this option called Smart Widgets in One UI 4.1, and I actually talked about this quite a bit um, in the previous version. Uh, Smart Widgets allows you to combine widgets to save space and get timely information. So you can see here that you've got you know, Smart Widget 4.2, Smart Widget 4.1, so you could add one of these to the home screen, and then it would create a Smart Widget for you, and then you could kind of just you know flick through the widgets. Now, the thing about this was though, you couldn't just dynamically create one by taking two widgets that you already have of the same size and drag them on top of each other. That would be a really natural thing. Just take two widgets of the same size and drag them on top of each other to create a smart widget. Uh, I'll show you guys really quick, just so you can see. Ideally, what you would like to be able to do is just go ahead and take two widgets of size two by two and drag this widget on top of this one 
and create a new one. But obviously you couldn't do that in Android 4.1. But now, if you have two widgets of the same size, I've already done this actually, I have two four by two widgets, after ship and app timers. But let me show you with a different example here. Let me actually move this one down. Let me do the same two by twos that I did before. Now I have two two by two widgets, and if I wanna create a new stackable widget, all I have to do is drag one of those widgets on top of the other, and it creates a stackable widget, which is basically the same before as a smart widget, but now you just drag one widget of the same size on top of the other and it automatically creates it for you. Now you can also go ahead through and resize it. You'll notice that when you long press, it also does show you kind of the name of the widget. This is Google Photos. I combined my son and my wife's albums. Obviously I have a lot of photos of both of them. It's a very cool widget to have. And now you can combine any two widgets as long as they have the same size. So that was a two by two. These were both four by twos. You can't combine widgets of different sizes. I love the smart widgets feature. It allows you to basically, you know, save space on your home screen if you wanted to have a lot of widgets, but you really want, you know, unique information that's grouped together. It really does save you space and also gives you great productivity. So kudos to Samsung for improving the smart widget feature that was already pretty awesome. All right, guys, so that is an overview of two of the most important changes to the home screen, the improved color palette, and of course, the now stackable widgets, not smart widgets. They're now called stackable widgets in One UI 5.0. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Future videos like this, definitely go put in your information. Even if you're not going to pre-order, get some of those awesome Samsung deals. I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.